Hey, what's up guys? Shaq is back. So today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how to put a new client into your KB Core and add them to a automatic list uh, for their preference property and where you can basically set it, forget it, and also add yourself so that way you see what they see as well on the back end. So let's start. We're just going to, we're going to make sure we're in our KV Core Smart CRM. And you're just going to simply click Add Contact. Okay. So we're going to do me, Shaq Jones. And we'll just do test at test.com. Phone number 555. Five 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 one two three four. We're gonna enable permission for email, call, and text. If you don't do this, you're gonna get an error at the bottom once you hit add contact because it's gonna remind you that you have not subscribed them to receive any type of communication. So you have to do that, or it won't let you move forward. Or I mean, it will, but it'll remind you that you want to at least communicate with these people. So, yeah. So we're going to put that I, this Shaq Jones is the buyer and the lead status. Um, let's say they're just, a, just a prospect. I haven't really spoken to them outside of a few text messages. So prospect, uh, you can kind of figure out your own system based on what you prefer. I would say, like an active lead would be someone you're actively working with to search for a property. Client, if you're actually getting to the phase of maybe they're getting pre-approved, whatever you want to do. But for today's sake, we're just going to do prospect. Lead source. So let's say, where did you get the lead from? I'm just going to say, hmm, let's just say Shaq came from an open house. Okay, and Shaq is the owner of this lead. So I'm assuming if you have a team, there would be multiple people here, but in this case, it's just me. Smart campaign, this is where you can drop this person onto a campaign to automatically be set to start receiving your campaigns that you customized. Here you see Liz Pendings because I did set up a campaign for Liz Pendings campaigns, but this person is not in the Liz Pendings category, so we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to leave it for now. At Lender, this is if you have a lender you're working with that is also signed up with KB Core. Apparently, they would have to sign up with KB Core and enter themselves into the system in order for them to drop down here where you they would be able to receive um, communication as well. This is where I would add note. Met at Open House in Ridgewood, Jersey. You want to you want to be as detailed as possible because sometimes we meet so many different people and they ask for many different things. You want to use this opportunity to list what they're looking for here price point and all of that stuff. And then double check and hit add contact. Oh, I guess they caught me. So let's just do 201. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do a quick refresh. Boom, there I am, okay? So this is your main screen you're gonna see whenever you click on one of your prospects or your um, leads and KV Core. And it's just basically an overview of what we input and your communications once that starts to, to happen. And the nice part about it is everything is color coordinated. So a prospect is going to be red. So if you're, if you see red, you know, it's a prospect. You have 
send text message, add a note. If you if you call the person and you get some new information, that's pretty helpful. Send email, new call. You can call from here as well if you have the app. But right now, we're just going to set them up on an alert because Shaq just told me that she would like to buy a $1.3 million house in Ridgewood. So we're going to set the alerts. So here we go. Alert number one. So we're going to hit alert settings, edit. And the type of listing they're looking for is going to be a single family. As you can see, there are many different selections here. And the nice thing is if you have those people that will say that say, it could be a multifamily, it could be a single family. You have the option to add that on too. There you go. So we're going to do no keywords because I haven't really been successful with that. So let's see what our options are. So Shaq didn't mention that she needed anything newly built, but we're going to throw that in just in case. Just list it of course hmm. she didn't mention fixer upper so we're not going to put that in maybe we can put reduced because anything could have just been uh, reduced in price and she may be interested in that so and let's go with the garage just 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 because and the areas we're going to type in Ridgewood, city, Ridgewood, bedrooms, go with the standard, going to be three or more, bathrooms, two and a half and more. And she said 1.3, so let's go with one, three, five. Okay. And all of this stuff I, I typically leave blank, but um, here as well, email CC, that's important. And also frequency is important. Uh, if, if they tell you, just as, just as a straightforward thing, I always put them on a daily email. So that way they're receiving emails daily. But if they reach out and say, you're sending too, way too many emails, I typically will, you know, just kind of figure it out based on, you know, what's on the market. So here, email CC, we're going to put my email address because I want to see what's going on on the back end. I mean, I've gotten calls before where people will say, hey, you know that property you sent me uh, over there in Ridgewood? Yeah, I want to see it. Uh, which one? <laughs> so this is to avoid that. So we're going to hit set alert. And it's active. So the next day, they should be they should start receiving emails for any of these. So let's see. I don't think I would receive anything that quickly. I haven't, I haven't found that, but the good thing is it does definitely work uh, next day. If you would like to send it the same day, they do have the option of as soon as possible. Save and send. I'm not going to do that because I already get enough mail. So, I just kind of want to also show you guys this portion of more actions. So you can share a contact, transfer a lead to someone else. Um, you can unsubscribe them from text. And KV4 has AI too, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can export the contact data. Uh, if you're going to just do one at a time, I mean, this is kind of a waste. Um, you can delete, and the nice thing is, this is a bonus. You can find this person on Facebook. I don't think I'm going to find myself, 
because I don't have the right information here, but this is pretty cool. Tell me what you think. If you guys need anything else or if you would like me to go over something else, please let me know. This has been real. Thank you guys for listening and see you on the next one.